Let's talk about 5e monster design. D&D is inherently a simulation. It's a model of story elements that interact to create something like fun. So consequently, everything is, by definition, simplified. Occasionally, this goes, in my opinion, too far. As an animal lover, I am very interested and have always been very interested in zoology. I'm interested in the tree of life. I'm interested in evolution, adaptation, morphology, all of that. So occasionally, a monster entry will just stick in my craw. One such example is the entry for ape. Now, at least they didn't call it a monkey, right? But most stat blocks can be stand-ins for a few related creatures, but this doesn't work for me. Because this stat block represents a beast, an animal that exists in the real world, it ought to at least try to reflect that reality. There's a big difference between mountain gorillas, orangutans, bonobos, and chimpanzees. So let's start with the so-called ape from the system reference document. Now this is pretty vague. Let's turn it into a, a, a proper gorilla. I think silverback, 400 pounds, strongest of primates. First, we duplicate it. We rename it. Gorilla, we'll call this Gorilla Silverback. You can see I've done this once before. So I've got autofill for some of these fields. So here's our gorilla. Now, since this is the biggest and strongest group of real world apes, we'll bump the target CR to, to one. All right. Uh, now, what are some of the more specific characteristics of a gorilla? Well, they've got tough skin and fur, so we'll bump their natural armor to 12 plus dex, wherever that ends up landing. And let's pump their hit dice from three to four. It gives them a few more hit points. Um, the rest of their uh, speed, well, a gorilla is a great climber, but their bulk slows them down in the trees relative to, say, a chimpanzee. So we'll lower their climb speed to 20. All right. They're scary fast on the ground, so we'll keep it at that. Let's, let's bump the strength up to 19. In the real world, a gorilla could take us out with one punch. So there we go. Uh, dexterity will take down to 12, constitution to 16. The rest of it looks, looks okay. Saving throws, they're an animal. No special saving throws. Um, skills. Now, a gorilla is very intimidating. They're synonymous with intimidation. So we're going to give them the intimidate skill. So here we go. Skills. In fact, we're going to make them experts in intimidation. That's like a double proficiency. And save that. Still pretty low. That's sad. So I'm going to bump the charisma up to 10 just to give them a little bit of intimidation, reload the page, and it should recalculate the skills. All right, no immunities, no vulnerabilities, uh, doesn't speak any languages, uh, does live in the forest and the mountains. Okay, all right. Now, the first attack is a little weak. Um, how do we model the fact that a gorilla, while certainly not actually large size like a horse or something, is much more massive than a typical humanoid. Um, let's borrow the brute trait from the bugbear. Add special trait, brute. Uh, all right, and it will fill in the description for me. All right, save that. Okay, and um, let's reflect that in the fist attack. So I'm going to add a second damage die. What the brute trait what does is give you an extra die of damage on. Um, melee attacks, melee weapon attacks, which the fist is a melee weapon attack. So we've got 2d6 plus 4 damage. That's 11 damage. That's, that's solid. Uh, and multi-attack allows them to attack twice if they're already engaged with a combatant. Okay, so um, gorillas, let's be real, don't throw rocks uh, for defense. So we're going to strike this. We're going to delete this. Um, all right, there. Um, now let's get some flavor text. Add monster description. I'm going to grab a description that I wrote. Bam. Okay. And save that. And well, let's throw in an image. Okay. Choose a file. 
gorilla. There's a good image of a gorilla I found. Um, license free. Um, for the free license, Ruggiero Richard took the photo. So I'm going to credit Ruggiero Richard. There we are. There's our silverback gorilla. Is the estimate uh, match the target challenge rating? Yes, it does. Okay, we're in business. So here's our gorilla. Now, let's move on to chimpanzees. They're closely related, but very different, both physically and behaviorally. So let's start again from the generic ape. We'll go to um, the list, open ape once again. Um, well, duplicate, rename, chimpanzee. All right. So they're not as tough as a gorilla. So we'll leave the AC, Sans Natural Armor. They uh, are faster than humans, though. So we're going to um, bump their speed to, to 40 on the ground and leave their climb speed at 30. They're crazy fast in the, in the trees. The latest science shows that chimps are very strong, 1.5 to 2 times as strong as a human pound for pound for things like pulling and jumping. So we're going to give them, um, yeah, we'll keep their strength at 16. That's, that's great. We're going to bump their dexterity for 15. That's mostly just flavor. Con will take down to 13. That will lower their, their uh, hit points. Um, now the others, uh, in 6, yes, Wisdom 12, Charisma 7, okay. All right, so we'll give them those ability scores. I would like to give them the acrobatics skill. They're going to be proficient in acrobatics. Um, and there they are, um, plus 4 acrobatics. They can do uh, things that are just off the charts acrobatically that humans can't do. So in environments, uh, we'll put them in the forest. That's where they live. And okay, I like their fist attack. Um, but you know, they're a little smaller um, even than a human. So I'm going to give them uh, a D D4 damage uh, for their fist attack. They've got multi attack so they can pow pow. Um, now, chimps are aggressive carnivores and they have a vicious uh, bite in the real world. So we're going to give them a bite attack. Bite, so melee attack, all right, proficiency plus, uh, we're going to give them a, uh, pl a d6 plus strength, bite attack, uh, piercing damage, all right, there we go, bite attack. Now, um, rock attack, I don't think real world chimps are really known for their marksmanship, but they do throw rocks, so we'll suffer this design and, and, and leave it on. Uh, it's a fantasy game. So let's give a sense of how do we create the sense of, of chaos that, that chimps create in, in combat? And I think um, we, can, uh, we can model this mayhem with maybe the aggressive trait that we borrow from, from orcs. All right, so uh, there we go. So we've got this aggressive trait. Uh, they have a, uh, it's a bonus action, can move up to their speed toward a top hostile creature. All right, monster description. And paste it in there. All right, and uh, chimps are arboreal apes living in groups in tropical forests. Yes, that's true. Okay, so the next thing is, the very last thing is to add their illustration. So. I have an illustration here, a photograph um, from, um, I have a photograph attributed to Charles J. Sharp, who takes photos for the Wildlife Service, I believe. Okay, chimpanzee illustration created. Now, we've got two proper apes. We've got a gorilla, like so. And chimpanzee. Now we have two distinct great apes to use in our game. Good luck and have fun.